Welcome, welcome to season one, episode 10 of Statistics, Data for Movies. I'm Elizabeth, an actor, a data scientist, and your host, and each week I take a different movie and analyze its female characters on our metric this season, the Femmeter. This week I'm really excited to say that this is our 10th episode. Double digits, hooray for turning 10 for Statistics. Thanks so much for being here, guys. From those who have been here from day one to those who are here now, welcome. When I was doing my research on Kiki Lane, who starred in last week's video, linked below, I was surprised to find that If Beale Street Could Talk wasn't the first video that she was listed as known for. Instead, it was this weird action movie about justice-seeking immortals called The Old Guard. I'd seen The Old Guard pop up in advertisements and on IMDb, so I thought, hey, why not? I'm a pretty big fan of action movies, Charlize Theron, and Gina By the Wood, so I kind of figured that I would like this movie. Today we focus on Andy, played by Charlize Theron, who scores a 92, and Niall, played by Kiki Lane, who scores an 89, and our third compare and contrast of the season. The Old Guard is different from past movies we've done for a few reasons. First and foremost, the two women that we're focusing on this week are both leading characters, meaning that we're not going to get tripped up in this supporting versus leading argument. Except for Billing, which Niall does lose seven points on, Andy and Niall start off on the exact same playing field. In statistical terms, we call this controlling for a confounding variable. That is, a hidden variable that affects the final score, but isn't measured in the model itself. By choosing a movie that has two leading female characters, we've controlled for story, editors, directors, writers, budget, and also character type. Obviously, with two leading women, this movie passes the Bechdel test, but what's more surprising is that each of them also received a 5 out of 5 on agency. Normally, scoring agency is really difficult. Every time I get to that section, I take a deep breath and remember all the things that I love about statistics, because usually it's a long road ahead. This is because movies seem to have this idea that agency is like pie, especially for women. More agency for one character means less agency for another. Regardless of who gets the agency, the net change is always zero. The old guard completely rejects this idea. In fact, agency for one character compels agency for another. There is no tokenism, no agency glass ceiling, just characters interacting with other characters whose identities shape who they are and what they do. This character in alternate universe specificity is really what I think makes this movie exceptional. It's not just a great action movie about two kick-ass women. It's about finding and keeping family, tradition, betrayal, consequences, and love. This is a coming-of-age, family, action, drama movie all wrapped into one, and it's directed by a woman of color to boot. There's even explicit evidence that having a woman of color at the head of this project directly influenced the plot. Though this movie is heavily based on the Old Guard comics, seriously, it's almost look at word for word, Niall as a character is brought out and distinguished much more in the movie than she is in the original comics. Though Greg Rucka, the original writer of the comics and the writer of the screenplay, completely supported the choice, it's no surprise that Gina By the Wood was really the one who pushed for this decision. It's a great lesson for anyone in entertainment. It's not just actor representation that matters, it's crew representation too. In conclusion, Niall and Andy, the dynamic duo of the old guard, score an 89 and 92 respectively. I know I say this about basically every statistics movie that we watch here, but seriously, you should go watch this movie. From 2007 to 2019, only 13 movies were directed by women of color. It's really important that we support these creators by watching their stuff. So, go to your Netflix account and search The Old Guard. Seriously, you should do it. See you next time.